Now one day I was with Julie, we were about two kilometers away from her den. She had five tiny cubs stacked away in the den and Savannah was keeping guard over those cubs. The lions have an auntie system. One lioness will hunt, another will look after cubs. And Savannah's doing exactly that. While Julie was away, Savannah was guarding the cubs and one strayed from the den. She started to call to Julie. Suddenly we heard Savannah roaring and Julie immediately turned around and at a fast pace went straight back to the den. When we arrived there, two little cubs had strayed from the den and they were right in the open, extremely vulnerable. Julie immediately picked up the one cub in her mouth and carried it back to the den. Lioness Savannah did exactly the same thing. And I got this unique shot of a lioness carrying a tiny cub in her jaws. A lioness with a tiger cub in its mouth. So she's playing the role of auntie. It's different from the tiger system. The tigress raises cubs on her own. Julie effectively now has Savannah helping her raise five cubs. And although she's inexperienced, she's learning the tricks of handling cubs from Julie and that'll stand her in good stead when she finally has a litter of cubs. Now to me, it remains a mystery to this day. How did Savannah give the roar indicating there was a problem at the den and how did Tigress Julie understand that roar? Tigers will roar but it's a, a very dissimilar roar from a lion. Tigers do more chuffing in the short range. They communicate a lot in the short distance. Lions roar across the grasslands because they're big social cats. But Savannah, raised by Julie, over a period of three years, apparently these two great cats were able to communicate with each other. <laughs>